Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I did my After Effects set extension. So, um, let's just jump right into it. This is going to be a bit of a long tutorial, but I'll try and cover all the necessary things. So, here we go. I've imported my footage. It's just my friend standing in front of a river next to my house, some mountains in the background, and yeah. Um,. So pretty much the first thing that you need to do is motion track your footage. So to do this, double click on your footage layer and it should pop up in a new, in like another window here. And if you don't have the tracker window here, go to window and make sure tracker is ticked and it should pop up down here. So now you want to go layer new null object and if you hit return you can rename layers and we'll just call this track points and once we click back in this window, uh, click track motion and this track point will pop up and move it to somewhere that kind of stands out and also click rotation and it should bring up two points so I'll just do it to this plant here it can't be anything that's going to move in the footage or something that's say if you've got a person in it if the person's going to pass over it, it'll stuff up your tracking I'm not going to go into details on motion tracking. Look up a motion tracking tutorial if you're not sure on how to do it. But yeah, so once you've got that, make sure you're on the first frame of your footage, otherwise, again, it'll stuff up. And make sure your target is your track points or your null object. Click OK and click track forward. OK, so mine's almost finished. And just keep an eye on your track points while it's motion tracking to make sure they stay at the target and yeah this is just to pretty much make sure it works that the best it can alright so mine is done and you can see all these little green markers or they might not be green depending on the color of your layer and yeah so once that's done just click apply x and y and click ok now your null object should be stuck to your first track point which it's looking pretty good now pretty much what this does is we can then import our image and it can follow the motion of the footage which is what we'll need uh, once we put buildings or mountains or whatever the thing I use for my footage, I'm only going to do one mountain for this tutorial and here's one of the ones I used so the link for everything I use will be in the description except for this video but I might film some 720p or 1080p footage and put it in the description for you so pretty much what we want to do is make it blend in so to do this we have gotta get rid of the sky and all this ground and it's probably better to do this in photoshop but my photoshop is playing up so i'm just going to do it in after effects and i'm doing this the worst possible way so if you want to get a good effect i would do it the proper way which is actually cutting it out properly uh, i'm just going to get the eraser tool and fade away at that get a really big soft brush so it easy to blend and then do the same for the sky but we'll change the brush size down a bit all right so I've pretty much finished I just did a really rough job and I know there's probably a million better ways to do that but anyway we'll click back to our composition up here and we can see our mountain will be kind of cut out and now what we want to do is all I did was lower the opacity of this and then bring up the rotation options by pressing R and kind of just moving it in there so it looks like it's actually meant to be there and then once you've got that you can raise the opacity back up and position it and that's looking pretty good uh, you can still see all of this but I'm not going to get into it too much detail just keep kind of rubbing it out and blending it in and we'll just move on to keep this tutorial a good length. So the next thing I did was just try to blend all of that with the mountains. So before we go on, go back to the start of your footage and grab the little parent tool which is a spiral and parent it to the track points. And what that does, it'll move it with the footage so it actually looks like it's meant to be there. Okay so now we want to kind of blend this in to make it seem like it doesn't stand out that much. So to do this, I just got a curves adjustment and dragged it on. And you can see it's a bit too blue, so I went to the 
green channel and pulled up the green a bit and then pulled up the red then brought down and you can really see that kind of blends in just a tiny bit better um, it'll also help blend it once we do the final color correction so the next thing I did was just replace the sky, but I won't cover that in this tutorial. If you want to learn how to do that, just look up a sky replacement tutorial. So now we'll just do the final color correction. Just make a new adjustment layer, and make sure you name your layers so you know what you're doing. And all I did was use Film Magic Pro, which is Video Copilot's um, cinematic color pack. And I'm pretty sure I used green easy. Yeah. So you can see what I mean by it helps blend it better. And also if you just use a bigger brush and go over the outsides here. And that'll help a lot. But I'm just going to show you the basics, which is what this whole tutorial was about. So there we go. The mountain follows it. It looks decent. And yeah. Other things I did in the video was I made a reflection. And I'll just put a screenshot of the actual video here. So as you can see, I've pretty much done a reflection in the water. I've done another mountain, and it blends a lot better. So yeah, obviously I spent a lot more time on the other one. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this, please go check out my YouTube channel and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.